Hello. Today, I would like to talk more about Spectral Shield Hero in 321, and more specifically, I would like to compare it to bow builds, as the reason I went a Spectral Shield Hero build, much like many other people in the PoE community, is because there was lots of hype that SST is extremely broken. And a little bit of a spoiler, I think we were sold some fake advertising. So, on screen right now, there are two different PoE screenshots. One of them is a special shield throw build, and one of them is pretty much using the exact same gear, except is a tornado shot build. So, both of these builds are using many of the uniques that I talked about in my previous video, where I went over what I believe is the best overall special shield throw build. So, both of these builds are using the Comb Spirits gloves, which allows you to have huge berserk uptime. Both of them are using mage blood with triple elemental flasks in combination with a lightning coil also with a double purity of elements watcher's eye they're both running a physical to cold conversion using hatred and many of the items are just repeated so as you look at the numbers they look pretty much the same while yes option one does have a higher effective health pool in terms of defenses this really isn't the most important number as max hit is a better determining factor on how much damage you are actually take from enemies and as you can see by max hit they are pretty much equal and same thing with dps both of them are in the high 60 million so if you were to guess that the option one was spectral shield throw you are correct and the second one being tornado shot now both of these screenshots are based on the baseline meaning that these numbers weren't using any temporary buffs like totem attack speed or berserk or molten shell or immortal call but on screen right now you can see a more detailed breakdown of the pobs and in the description i will link the pob urls but to basically summarize given that the DPS and takingness of both builds are roughly equivalent. What are the differences between the builds? And you can see highlighted at the bottom in green boxes are the strengths of each SST or Tornado shot, and in the red are the negatives. We will start off with the benefits of playing Spectral Shield Throw over Tornado shot. The first one being that they are able to use the Ghost Stance Keystone since the shield that they run gives them over a thousand energy shield and there is no equivalent on a tornado shot build thus this is making them roughly 10 to 20 percent more tanky the next benefit is spectral shield throw is a duelist so they are able to pick up the overleech through forbidden flesh and flame jewels this makes the spectral shield throw build a lot better against damage over time effects versus a bow build the next benefit is they have shield charge which is a very strong mobility skill compared to a bow build which which have fairly weak mobility skills as most of the mobility skills have a cooldown and are not spammable like shield charge. The next benefit of spectral shield throw is that they have the opportunity to put down a attack speed totem to buff their damage on stationary boss fights thus their damage is 20 to 30 percent higher in these specific scenarios whereas bow builds really don't have this option now the negatives of spectral shield throw is that their dps is inflated so while the baseline dps per my pobs is 69 million this is assuming that each spectral shield throw that you throw out double hits due to using vengeance cascade and this doesn't always happen and in addition to this it is also assuming that the target is getting hit by the shards of the spectral shield throw which again doesn't always happen as this typically procs off of a tornado that you have to manually summon so a more realistic number could be closer to 42 million versus the 69 million baseline but again if you are in the 66 percent uptime of berserk that you should have and are opting to use an attack speed totem at least for bosses your dps will still be a fair bit higher than a tornado shot bow build the next downside of special shield throw is probably the biggest one as i will get into more detail later but this average clear speed as i will show is in my opinion the reason why i say spectral shield throw was false advertising and does not fall into the op category yes it is very strong specifically its defenses are extremely strong 
as you can spec into five or six very strong defenses fairly easily by being a champion. But as for clear speed, throwing out a single shield really only hits like a third or a fourth of the screen, again, as I will show soon. And the last negative of spectral shield throw is that it very likely will not be as strong as it is in 322. So whether that be through nerfing Vengeance Cascade, thus decreasing its damage by roughly 40%, or just because the Crucible trees won't be available. Now, what are the benefits of a bow build? Again, using basically the same gear as the special shield throw. The reason Tornado Shot is strong should be fairly obvious to everyone, since for the past, what, five, six, seven years, pretty much every one of the strongest bow builds has always been Tornado Shot, and the reason for that is because it's basically a broken skill, as it has good single target, the more arrows you get, and because it has a full screen clear as you can hit targets in a 360 around you due to the tremendous amount of secondary projectiles that are generated and if your clear isn't good enough for that you can slap on a chain and you'll be clearing multiple screens instead of just one and this ability to clear multiple screens is significantly better than spectral shield throw the next benefit of tornado shot is that it will survive in 321 because it does not benefit from vengeance Cascade, and it survived past 20 patches, so I'm sure it's going to survive another. The downside of Tornado Shot is, again, the DPS may be slightly inflated. Now, while you can get 8 additional arrows, giving you a total of 9 arrows on Tornado Shot, the target would have to be extremely fat for all of these arrows to hit the same target. Thus, a more realistic scenario, maybe the target is only hit by 6 of your total 9 secondary projectiles, thus a 44 million DPS may be more accurate, but in even saying that, it still matches the underestimation that we made for Spectral Shield Throw. So, once again, the DPS is roughly the same. And the biggest negative, which has been the case for many years now, and that is to have a good bow build, it is extremely expensive. Yes, you can get millions and millions and millions of DPS, very cheaply, but to be a well-rounded build, it's going to be extremely expensive. Now I will get to the crux of the issue and why I feel lied to. So, much like pretty much every other skill in PoE, if you invest into it a lot, it will kill everything in one shot, basically. So, to determine if a skill is good or bad, all of this is not determined by your gear, it is not determined by your investment, it is not determined by a lot of things, it is how the skill was designed. Heavy Strike, no matter if you one-shot everything in the entire game, is not a good skill. And this is where Spectral Shield Throw falls. No, it is not Heavy Strike, but as you can see by this clip, I am surrounded by three groups of enemies. I have enough damage to one-shot them, but is it a strong skill? No, it is not, because I throw it into a pack, and it kills that pack in maybe half of another one. That is because it is limited on the number of chains that it has, and also the secondary projectiles don't spray out that much. Yes, you can invest in more chain. Yes, you can invest in fork. Yes, you can invest in projectile speed. But with all that amount of investment in making the skill feel better and or perform at a level in which is at least remotely comparable to many of the bow skills that are currently baseline, you lose out on damage and or tankiness, which then goes away from why special shield throw is good. Now here, I show a screenshot of four different examples of me throwing a shield into a pack. And the red square is the amount of affected area that the skill hits. Now, as you can see, it is not my full screen. Sometimes it's a quarter of the screen. Sometimes it's a third of the screen. But nowhere near is it a full screen. And nowhere near is it multiple screens like a chain tornado shot would be. Now, after I created my special shield throw character, I immediately felt kind of bad, and maybe this is a little bit of my fault, because my previous character was my 39 charge discharge build, and this is what you call a strong skill. Discharge, while it may not be as tanky as special shield throw, it may not do as much damage as special shield throw, the design of the skill makes it so that it hits the full screen and more. And again, I can't harp on this enough, I've tried to spread the message, but you cannot 
one shot things any harder in this game. So you can say, I got 300k effective HP, I got 300 mil DPS, I got a billion DPS, I got dot cap, I got all this stuff. If the mob has 500k HP, it does not matter how much damage you do. So while my discharge build hits for roughly 45 million every one and a half seconds, thus it does half the DPS as special shield throw, and it's let's say a fifth, the tankiness of special shield throw, it does have significantly better clear, and it is actually quite substantially faster. All that being said, when a community finds a build that is strong, I would suggest you not overhype it so that people that try out the build, even though it may be a strong build, it may be one of the strongest builds in the league, they aren't let down by the insane promises that people say a build has. No, special shield throw is not an aura stack sparker like we got in delirium in my opinion no it is not a mere tier tornado shot build but yes it is strong so if you have any comments questions put them in the comments and i'll get to them thanks